What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is the weekly squad builder episode video. These videos are probably the best received videos on my channel, and as always, if this video can hit 75 likes, I will keep uploading it, upload another one next week. Next week I have a massive, massive one planned, hopefully I can get it done, if not it'll be the week after. So anyway, hit that 75 likes, and it'll be up. So anyway, this is the team. This is a team that obviously, if you're looking at it, you're thinking, no way is this team 15k. But if you get picked stuff up on a good day, there's going to be new packs out next week. New team packs, which is when the prices go to an all-time low. So you will be able to pick up these cards. Maybe not Van Exel because he goes out of packs. You'll be able to snipe a lot of these cards. Fox and Richardson are maybe 2k each. So anyway, at the point guard we have got Nick Van Exel. I'd say pretty much everyone has used this card at this stage, just because of how much of a beast it is. And that you can pick him up on time for 1200 coins. Two unbelievable badges, mid range and deep range Deadeye. And good overall shooting stats. Open shot 3 of 84, off dribble 85, goes in an awful lot. And very, very good speed of 90, 92 speed with ball, 92 acceleration. Bradley Beal at the 2, you can pick him up. I've picked him up for 850 coins. I've seen him up for that much. I've picked him up on my second account for that much. And he can just shoot 3s. That's why he's in there. You can put in CJ McCollum probably a little bit cheaper. And to be honest, probably does a little bit of a better job putting in someone like this CJ McCollum. Anyway, at the three, we've got Poss, one of my favorite players in this squad. We've got Rick Fox. 80 offensive overall, 89 defensive overall. Very good open shot three, 84. Really nice release. Can get to the basket well. Defense, 86 on ball defensive IQ. Really, really good. 75 driving dunk, not bad. And not particularly slow. While he's not fast, he's not slow. So he's really good. At the four, we have got Serge Ibaka, as Antemag called, the Emerald Jerry Lucas, and he just shoots the shit out of the ball. Open shot three of 80, open shot mid range of 88. If you five out cheese, he's one of the best big men you can use. Overall stats, good enough. Driving dunk of a 90, extremely good. And at the centre we've got Andrew Bogan, who I just have for defence and blocking shots. He's 7 foot tall, 84 post hook. I didn't use it that much, but it is good. If we look at this, 92 block, 90 shot contest. Rebounding, 84 offensive, 87 defensive. On ball defensive IQ, 80. Low post defensive IQ, 89. So defensively, he's probably as good as you can get. At the point guard off the bench, we have got Michael Ray Richardson. And oh my god, is this card good. I didn't expect it to be good, but it is. 6 foot 5 point guard, 83 offense, 91 defensive overall. Badges, I'm not sure if he comes with these, but defensive stopper is always good to have. Stats not great. Shooting, he can't really shoot. Got extremely good ball control, a really good passer. 90 on ball defensive IQ, driving dunk of 80. He can get to the basket. He's only got speed of 84 and acceleration of 85, but he feels so fast. And while normally I like using shooters in every position, I can make an exception. This card is a beast. We've got Kirk Heinrich at the two. I've talked about him before. He's got an 86 home shot three, and I really like his release. Wiggins at the three. I think everyone's pretty much used this card. It's a beast. The four, Rudy LaRusso. I'm not the biggest fan. People keep saying he's great. I am not a fan, really, of this card. I keep trying to use him. But for a lot of this game, I had Myers Leonard in for him. At the five, we have got... I picked him up for 1,000 coins, one of the best centers I've used, and it's Al Horford. Well, best offensive centers. Post hook, 84. Post fadeaway, 85. Open shot, 3. 84. Contested shot, 3. 75. Open shot mid-range, 91. Like, 80 free throw. This guard is incredible. Rebounding, not great. He's got a 90 block as well. A 90 block. So, yeah, he's just, as far as centers go, and scoring centers go, He's one of the best. He's very like the Marcus All. This Marcus All that I love to use, but I decided just not to use him in this squad because he's a little bit too expensive. He's cheaper than him. He's a little bit smaller, but he can block shots. He can do everything. And then the last three, obviously, we've got Myers Leonard. He's seven foot one and has an open shot three of 88, open shot mid range of 93, so he can hit jump shots. We've got Eric Gordon. Obviously, these guys are to keep the price of the squad down. I really like his release, open shot 386, and then Goran Dragic, who I picked up for 850 coins. I really like the silver, not that much, I don't think this card's that much better than the silver, which is a little bit weird, 
But at the same time, if you like drag, if you've liked drag to silver, you'll like this card, 85 open shot three. So it's pretty much that card is a little bit better. So anyway, this team, if you pick these up at their cheapest, you can pick it up for 15k, and it's at max maybe 18k, 20k. So that's why I'm calling it 15k squad. But anyway, in this video, we are going to be coming up against another YouTuber, I think, in the highlights of this video. Um, if he does upload his this gameplay to his channel, I will put the link in the description. And anyway, he had a god squad. Pink Diamond Tim Duncan. Uh, Diamond Grant Hill. Diamond Kiki Vandaway. Uh, who else? Ruby Cat. This team was a god squad. And we played it with this team. So you'll see how we get on the highlights. So anyway, that's the video. You can look at the stats of these players if you want at the end. So anyway, this team can beat God Squads and it is between 15 and 18k. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.